Yep, it's not a clickbait, ladies and gentlemen, it's true. So Meta AI just made a major deal with Midjourney to integrate their advanced image and video generation technology directly into Meta's platforms. And here's the best part. Meta AI is currently providing unlimited free image and video generation, which means you're basically getting Midjourney quality images and videos at no cost whatsoever. This is genuinely exciting news. All the images and videos you're seeing on screen right now were created using Meta AI. And as you can tell, the quality is absolutely incredible. I've been experimenting with this tool extensively, and I have to say, I'm really impressed by its performance. In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to use Meta AI to generate amazing images and videos completely free of charge. So let's not waste another second. Let's jump right in. All right, to begin, simply click the link you'll find in the description below and create an account using your email address. After coming to the Meta Video website, you will see an interface like this. You might think it looks like a chatbot interface and you would be right. Alongside generating videos and images, you can also use this to write and enhance your scripts with AI or do all the daily tasks you do with ChatGPT. To generate images here, you are just going to click on the button in the corner of the screen and then click on the create option. After clicking, you will be taken to a new web page like this, where you will be able to create images by writing the description of your image in the prompt box. Here you can choose between image and video options. For this, I am going to choose the image option. Then you can choose the aspect ratio of your images. I am going to keep the aspect ratio as a long form YouTube video. Also, you can choose the aesthetics and the variety of your images using this setting. But for this, I'm going to keep it on the normal settings that they have here. So for the first image, I'm just going to give the AI model a prompt to create the image of a hyper-realistic image of a knight on a violet grass field. The AI model here is going to generate four different images from the one prompt that you provided. From these four images, I really like this one of the knight wearing red colored armor going through a realistic violet colored grass field. And this image is really good. Now let's try to generate another image. For this one, I am just going to give the AI model the prompt. Create an anime style image of a simple cottage under a giant tree. This prompt is very simple, but as the mid-journey AI model is really good, it is going to be able to create a fantastic image. As you can see, the AI model has finished generating all the images, and they look really good. In every image, the AI model was able to keep the anime style very consistent. I really like the detailing of this specific image, and the color scheme here is really good. There is almost no distortion in this image, which makes it a very nice image to look at. Overall, I like all four of these images, but if I had to choose the best one, I would pick this image, as there is a lot more detail in the house compared to the other images the AI model has generated. As you can see, this model is really good at creating anime style and hyper-realistic images of fantastical scenes. Now, we are going to try to create an image of an action-packed cinematic scene using this AI model. So, the prompt I am giving the AI model is to create an image of a kraken or a giant octopus monster trying to sink a ship. Now, let's see what kind of image the AI model creates. These are the four images that the AI model has created. The first one is a really cool image. I really like the monster that the AI model created, but that monster is not actually a kraken. So even though the quality of this image is really good, this was not a great generation. The second image, however, is actually of a kraken trying to sink a ship, and this was one of the most cinematic generations from Midjourney. The third image is also of a kraken trying to sink the ship, and this was also really good. Between the second and third images, I think the second one looks a little bit better, so I am going to choose it as the best generation from these four. All of these images are very high quality and cinematic. Now, I am going to show you how you can create videos from these images, or how to create them directly using this AI model. If you want to create videos from the images you generate, you are just going to click on the animate button. This button will appear when you hover over the generated image. For example, if I wanted to generate a video from this image, I would just click on the animate option, and the AI model will automatically start to generate a video from this specific image. Now, this is the video that the AI model has generated. Let's see how good it is. As you can see, the video is really good. Another way to create videos here is to click on the image button and then the video button. This is the text to video option. You can just give the AI model a prompt and it will automatically start to generate a video from your prompt. As you can see, the AI model has generated the videos from my prompt, but first it generated an image for each one. 
So even if you click the video option, the AI model will first generate an image and then create a video from it. All four of these videos look really good and are very high quality. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and share it with your friends. See you in the next one.